Tonight, the Senate defies President Trump, voting overwhelmingly against White House policy on Saudi Arabia. The vote was 63 to 37, and it was to yank American support for Saudi forces in Yemen. The reason? Bipartisan anger at President Trump for backing Saudi Arabia and not his own CIA assessment about the Crown Prince's involvement in the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. Here's Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican, on why he joined 14 other senators in flipping their votes on Saudi Arabia against the president. I changed my mind because I'm pissed. The way the administration's handled the Saudi Arabia event is just not acceptable. The briefing today did not help me at all better understand the role that MBS played in the killing of Mr. Kosogi. That is the crucial question. And the briefing he's referring to was today. The entire Senate briefed on the brutal murder and dismemberment of the Washington Post journalist and American resident Jamal Khashoggi. The CIA director, Gina Haspel, who has seen all the evidence and whose agency concluded that the Saudi crown prince personally directed the murder, was not there. She did not brief senators. Instead, the president sent Defense Secretary Jim Mattis and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. And Pompeo, after writing an op-ed, here's a printout, which refers to, quote, Capitol Hill caterwauling and media pylons and continues to say no, uh, that no matter what, quote, degrading U.S.-Saudi ties would be a grave mistake, went today to parrot the president's refusal to believe America's intelligence community's conclusion. I do believe I've read every piece of intelligence unless it's come in in the last few hours. I think I've read it all. There is no direct reporting connecting the Crown Prince to the order to murder Jamal Khashoggi. That's all I can say in an unclassified sense. Okay. Just, just keep in mind here, this man recently had Gina Haspel stop. He was running the CIA. So these are all the people who worked for him, who run intelligence for the United States, who have concluded this, and he just came out and obviously said uh, he, he doesn't agree. Um, those words more than, quote, pissed off Senator Graham and others, including Senator Rand Paul. Here he is moments ago on CNN. The CIA concluded with high probability that the crown prince was involved. And so that conclusion is being completely sloughed over and people are turning a blind eye to that. Caitlin Collins is out front tonight at the White House. Caitlin, you know, with all of this out there, why wasn't the CIA director the one who reached this conclusion at the briefing and instead others who were going to go along with the president's denial of that were? Where was she? Well, that's the question Mike Pompeo refused to answer two times today, but senators who were in the room during that briefing said that Pompeo and Mattis told them it was the White House's direction that the CIA director, Gina Haspel, was not a part of that briefing today, though they had, did not elaborate why in that briefing, and the White House hasn't elabor elaborated on why she wasn't there to us either. Now, that raises the question because there was a clear request from the senators to have her there, as you just heard from Lindsey Graham and from Rand Paul, because not only is she the CIA director, but she's the one who's listened to the audio of this killing that they said that they have at the CIA. And she's the one who traveled to Turkey in the wake of Jamal Khashoggi's death to do some investigation. So that is why they wanted her there today. But when Mike Pompeo was asked, why isn't your... Uh, the CIA director here briefing us with you, he kind of smirked and said, well, I was asked to be here. And then he repeated that line again, but he did not go any further than that. Of course, as you just showed, he is uh, downplaying his own former intelligence agency's assessment that it was the Crown Prince who ordered the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, which is stunning given that Mike Pompeo used to run the CIA not that long ago. But Aaron, it seems that this briefing back is, is uh, backfiring on the administration because they were hoping to convince those senators not to further a resolution to withdraw U.S. support from the Saudis in Yemen. And instead, by not bringing Gina Hassel to that briefing, by not being forthcoming with all of the information they know about the death and who ordered this death, it seems to have backfired to them and have some of these senators, even those who are key allies of the president's, switch their votes. All right, Caitlin, thank you very much. And I want to go now to Senator Jeff Merkley, Democrat, member of the Foreign Relations Committee. He was at that classified briefing today from Secretaries Pompeo and Mattis and not Director Haspel. So, uh, Senator, good to have you with me. Secretary Pompeo, of course, is siding with the president, uh, quote, to turning a blind eye, as Senator Paul says, uh, to the CIA. Now, Pompeo says, look, I've read all the intelligence. There's no direct reporting, his words, 
that connect the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia to Khashoggi's murder. Your response? Well, the emphasis he put in that sentence was on the word direct. He's saying we don't have the smoking gun. But if you were to push him, I suspect he would say that he's not disputing the CIA report or a conclusion. He's not disputing that there's massive amounts of indirect evidence in terms of the family members of the crown prince and the associates, the bodyguards, other members of the team close related, not mm -hmm. disputing the notion that this type of action would never happen without the crown prince's approval. Right. Uh, so it's a choice. It's a choice to ignore it. And, and, and what do you make, though, of the fact that Secretary Pompeo, who ran the CIA, uh, who, who should have utmost respect for it, who you are saying actually would, if pushed, agree with the CIA, is publicly actually sounding like he's doing the opposite. He sounds a lot like his boss, who says, quote, I'm standing with Saudi Arabia. It is exactly what he's doing. He's saying that because Saudi Arabia is a stabilizing force and helps us on a number of our projects in the world, we're going to ignore the fact that they murdered a U.S. resident. That's what he's saying. So do you feel today uh, that that you got something out of this briefing? You heard Senator Graham. He says he didn't get answers to the questions he had about the crown prince. Uh, do you feel the Trump administration was forthright and honest and put what they had on the table today? What I came, with today, uh, came away with was that the, the president really wants to maintain this relationship because, as he said, they buy our stuff, they buy our arms, and that Pompeo comes at it from the direction of, I want this relationship because they help us on other things. But both of them, therefore, saying, we're going to just ignore the fact they murdered a U.S. resident. And it so weakens our leadership in the world to say, you can murder one of our American residents and we will not protest. We will not make an issue of it. We will, we will just say, well, that we have economic interests, so we'll ignore it. That is such a downgrading of the U.S. role in the world to fight for human rights and key principles that are so important. So, so the president, you know, you, you heard this mention of a tape, right? And the president says there is a tape that captured part of the murder. The defense secretary says the United States does not have the tape. And it's a contradiction that certainly from what the, these two men have said on tape does not get more stark than this. We do not have the tapes. We do not have the tapes. At least I'm not aware that we do. We have the tape. I don't want to hear the tape. No reason for me to hear the tape. Okay, this is a pretty basic and important thing. Does the United States of America have a copy of the tape or not? Yes, well, it appears that I'm taking these, these folks at their word that what we have is a transcript of the tape rather than a tape itself. So the president so, misspoke. Uh, it, I did, couldn't quite catch the president's the words. The president said, but, quote, we have the tape. I don't want to hear the tape. Uh, well, my understanding is we have a transcript. Okay. But not the tape itself. So Gina Haspel then is the only person, right, that, as we are aware at this time in the United States who has heard the tape. It is among other evidence she has, but she has heard it and she, of course, is the chief uh, uh, who's making the, the, the assessment, the, the conclusion that the Crown Prince directly ordered this assassination. Yes. We wanted to hear her analysis of all the connections that are involved here, because there are many, and they've been reported in the open press. So we, we have heard about the brothers' connection. We've, we've heard about the bodyguards' connection. We've heard about many associations. We wanted her to put the picture to us in the classified setting, and how did they get to high confidence uh, that the, uh, the Crown Prince was involved? And, and clearly, the administration does not want her to talk to Congress. We must really demand, and if not now, in January when the Democratic Congress comes in the House, uh, we need to demand to have that briefing and hear firsthand all how they put the picture together. 